Hey everyone, I don't know if you've dove into 1.9 yet, but we've added some features in the encoder toolbar that I wanted to hop on here and point out for you. The one that I really want to highlight today can be found when I'm working with fade and delay. So if I click on either of these two options, you'll notice a little A pop up over here. If I right click on my link timing option, I actually have a pop up. In this pop-up, you'll see single feature at filter. We've been toggling through those for the past few versions, so those aren't new and exciting, but the ones that are, are active only and multi-step only. So the one that people have been running into recently is active only, so let me show you what it does. I'm gonna go ahead and hit go on this queue that I have running here. All right, looks great, lights full, downstage, exactly what I wanted. Now I have these lights coming from a queue. So if I go over here to fade and I say, you know what, I really want to just you know, add a one second fade to the dimmer. If I pop in here and set this to one, you'll notice it, it doesn't do anything. Like, is this a bug? No, this is a feature that we have added. Uh, not for it to not do it. But if I right click here, I see that active only is currently toggled on. So if this option is toggled on, these values, they're not active in the programmer. So that's what it's listening for. It's only gonna affect values that are active. So if I activate these values, then pop over here to fade, yes, I can set it to one. Now, I don't wanna be you know, activating every value if I'm just running through queues. So let's go ahead and clear out our pro programmer. Now I have nothing active, pop back here to fade. This is an instance where I actually want this setting off. So I'm gonna leave active only off. And now I can select my fixtures, pop in here to fade, set it to one, and then boom, now I can play with these values. And once I have them the way I want, I can go ahead and store Q1 and merge those values in. And now I can see they've been added to my queue. So just something to look out for, both fade and delay, they're listening for whether or not the values are active depending on the setting here in this pop-up. So happy programming.